Hello Aquarius, this is going to be your third party reading for the month of April. Um, thank you so much for being patient with me. I know you guys are one of the last ones to go. It's not personal. Literally third parties are done throughout, like in the middle of other things. So it's just like, okay, what sign haven't I done yet? So you guys, um, Aquarius, I've already shuffled for you for the first half of the reading. You came up as the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, if you need a personal, make sure you go to the website. I have added the third party readings back to the website. Um, these are going to be how the options are going to be for a while. I've made some changes. Um, I've got a lot of things going on in my personal life. So I'm just trying to make it more um, so I'm not getting drained, okay? Because I don't want to have to go like back to a break or anything like that. I really do enjoy reading for you guys. And I'm liking how I'm able to get these uh, readings up on the channel. So anyway... Um, let's get into the reading for the first half of the reading Aquarius you will be in the top this is for those who are being put in third-party situations by your partner so if you're an Aquarius and your partner has another person then you would want to pay attention to the top half if your partner's also an Aquarius then you would want to watch for the middle okay all right I feel like I already did Aquarius this reading but whatever I'm like hold on did I already do Aquarius but I think I'm, I already did your soulmate reading so all right so we have the two of swords for your partner's energy, Aquarius, you have the Two of Swords. We have the Fool card. All right, your energy, and this is the Fool card. So Two of Swords and Fool card, there's a beginning here. Are we leaving someone behind, Aquarius? Moon card, possible Cancer or Pisces, right? We're leaving something and going into a much unknown territory, something we don't know very well. We could be going towards a Cancer, Pisces, but... You're leaving someone behind because they have a choice, right? They're stuck between two people. They won't make the decision uh, or they made the decision. It wasn't the right one. So you're moving on as the full card. Aries is also here. Aries is here again. So if you're dealing with an Aries, okay, or you can be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, your partner in that has uh, the third party, right, is the Knight of Wands. Fly by night behavior coming in when they want to leaving when they want to young immature not maybe young but just immature <laughs> lovers card is their energy in this bottom uh relationship their other party they are the lovers card so your partner's coming up the lovers card we have gemini energy uh, but also soulmate energy third party right lovers card i mean these are both third party cards here for this particular reading so it makes so much sense the eight of wands is their partner's energy fire coming up again and then we have the star card which is aquarius energy your energy is but so i really don't feel like this partner that you're dealing with aquarius is going to like your decision okay uh i don't feel like they're going to like that you're moving away from them uh i feel they may try to reunite with you at some point in the future with the Aquarius card here as the star card. All right, so the Eight of Wands. Maybe they've reconciled with this person here recently. Maybe they did take some time away from this person, but now they come back. They're reconciling or they're just maintaining this relationship, but they may want to be with the Aquarius. They're just not making a decision. So you're getting up, you're getting out of there. At this point, they really don't have a choice anymore. The choice is not up to them. Okay. Let's see why they're coming up the lover's card. Why is the lover's card here? Some of y'all are dealing with the air sign. A Gemini or Aquarius like yourself. Start High Priestess. So Page of Wands, High Priestess. All right, so your partner is, for some of you, this is a like a soulmate, twin flame, like y'all have some type of karmic connection. Uh, they, yeah, I feel like they want to come towards you. They're going to, I feel like this person is going to come back. So like after you leave them behind, they're going to come back towards you. Why is the full card Aquarius's energy? Why is Aquarius showing up as the full card? temperance card some of you are wanting to leave but you're not leaving yet with the temperance card so maybe two months from now we'll be leaving or we're starting to we're making changes to leave 
some of you may be a family situation. Maybe you're married, Aquarius, and your partner has another party. I don't feel like that, but that could be the case. And you're leaving behind, but I don't think that's what it is. I feel like you're taking whatever you have to, to offer to this person and taking it with you with the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, I'm not feeling like you're married to this person. I mean, you could be with the two, the two of Swords person. You could be leaving them behind, leaving behind a marriage partner. Why is Aquarius' partner coming up two of Swords? Why is Aquarius' partner coming up as the two of Swords? Seven of Wands. They're blocked. Uh, they've blocked you or you've blocked them. Some of you, it's an air sign. A page of Swords keeps coming up. Two of Swords is air energy. But we have the Seven of Wands. So it's telling me um, you blocked them. Some of y'all just blocked this person and like dipped. Like literally just dipped on them. Or they blocked you because you decided to leave. Why is the Moon card here? But I feel like they may unblock you. Or they're watching you from another page with the Page of Swords. Why is the Moon card here? Oh, yeah, I forgot to apologize for my son, if y'all hear him in the background. It's the weekend, so he's he's here. Usually, I do the readings while they're, he's at school, but... The Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're leaving. You're dipping. Some of you could be leaving a Cancer, Aquarius, but you're leaving and going to unknown territory. Some of you may have been dealing with this person for a very long time, like a significant period of your life. You may not know what life kind of is like without this person because you may have been with them so long. And some of y'all are scared about it. Third party, though, they have another party, and that's what's the problem. You want to leave that behind, but you, some of y'all been with this person for a long time, even if you're not married. Y'all may have children together, right? But they know they should be with you, or they're going to be wanting you in the future. Why is the star card here, too? ace of cups reconnection maybe they're going to be wanting to start again and i feel like this is with the aquarius or especially if it's someone you have children with or you're married to okay so that's what i'm getting here let me check out their other partner because their other partner is just like kind of on their line maybe texting why is the eight of wands here one the four of wands the devil card. So if this is their spouse, their relationship, they're reconnecting. But again, I feel like this is a relationship that has maybe gone on a little too long with the devil card energy here. Um, these could be karmic, karmic people, you know what I mean, that have stayed together too long. So this could be the marriage here. If you're not, okay, if you're not, you're Aquarius and you're not married to this person that you blocked and just like moved on or they blocked and moved on you've moved on and you're moving on to like you're moving on to something different here the moon card is telling me you're scared about it or you not so much scared but you may have your doubts you're not ready to make this shift just yet there's something holding you back maybe the what ifs with this person but with this person down here they could very well be married and then maybe they're sticking to this marriage um or they're reconnecting with their spouse all right I'm really feeling like your energy is the high priestess here. So I'm not saying that you and this person may not reconnect in the future. I feel like that may be the case. All right. Some of you may be dealing with the Sagittarius. The Knight of Wands and Temperance stand out to me. Two. What's the Knight of Wands here for? Nice little storyline going on here. I mean, I can see what, what's going on here. Okay. So three cards came out at once. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. Someone's reconnecting maybe with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or there's a water sign that's you're dealing with Cancer and energy that's um, maybe wanting to reconcile with you but not sure. Some of you, this is not now. This is July. Reappearing sun card. Yeah, somebody y'all block or like try to move on from is, is going to come back. That's just what I got now. Y'all are worried is if you leave, are they going to come back or... Something about this Eight of Cups and Moon card energy has got you kind of swooped, Aquarius, To That's not like you guys. This could be someone that's been significantly to you, though. Like, you've been with them for a long time. So, I feel it, too. One. Passion. For this card. For the top energy is passion. Okay, so there is 
a connection between you and this person. That's why it could be hard for you to do this, all right? Or there's children involved. Or there's something here that you're connected with this person, so it may be hard. We've got renewal. So they're, yeah, someone's, re they're reconnecting with the path with, I feel like it's their, either their spouse or someone from the past or their, their, their side person, whoever you're dealing with, there's a reconnection for them. And I think that, um, or if this is past energy, they're going to come back for reconnection. If they're not reuniting with their other party and that's why you're leaving, then they're reconnecting with you at some point with the renewal card. They're trying to re reconnect with you. Especially if it's water. Water sign. Despondence. I knew it. They're not happy in this relationship down here. Even if this is not, even if this grief, wow. And despondence. I mean, how miserable do you have to be? You know? All right. So, yeah, I knew it. I knew they were going to want to reconnect with the Aquarius because they're not happy where they are. So, that's your reading for that Aquarius. We're going to do the other way around now. Yeah, you guys got a little storyline going there. I don't know. I've seen a lot of different signs. So if you need a personal, make sure you book one. Um, you can even do like a little text message question. And I'll pull a third party spread for you. Just let me know. You know, because you guys got some like really big karmic storyline going on here. It's really weird. Because I felt a lot of different Aquarian energy on that. I felt a lot of you. Like, y'all ever seen X-Men when like um, the freaking... Is it Xavier? He connects with all the mutants through that machine. That's kind of how I just felt on that reading. And you guys as Aquarius will, will totally resonate with what I just said. So yeah, it felt like that. It felt like I was on Cerebro or some shit. Alright, let's get into those being put in third party situations by Aquarians, shall we? Alright. Page of Swords, we'll stop there. So your partner, your, the Aquarius um, is showing up. The Aquarius will be in the middle because in this uh, particular half of the reading, the Aquarius is the juggler, okay? Partner one will be at the top, partner two at the bottom. I will call the energies as I see it, all right? So we have the Page of Swords at the beginning. So the Aquarius is the Page of Swords in this relationship, all right? Very blunt, very low vibrational energy for Aquarius to be in. Just saying, I don't know what y'all doing. But Aquarians, y'all act like y'all don't like to spy, but y'all spy. Y'all spy on people a lot. Y'all, Aquarian, don't even get me started, okay? I know y'all very well, all right? We here, all right? So some of y'all are spying on someone. <laughs> um, you may be being honest and upfront about things as well, but for some of y'all, have your eye on somebody. There's a tower here. All right, so for the partner here, you're experiencing a tower, all right? Maybe because you've lost an Aquarius and their focus is now on someone else with the tower. You could have decided to end this with the Aquarius as well. It doesn't have to be the Aquarius ended it. We have the four of cups in the outcome. This is complacency. Also known like my despondence and emotional unhappiness card. So there's definitely like some sadness or um, some tower moment that happens. And I really feel like it's because this Aquarius has chosen to be with someone else. They have their eyes fixated on someone else or, you know, their focus. All right. So we have the two of pentacles energy as the Aquarius. Big surprise. Juggler energy, right? In the middle, since they're the one who's juggling two parties. How, you know, you know, not redundant, but confirming, I'll say, in a third party reading. So in this energy, the Aquarius is the judgment card awakening. This is, you know, coming to terms that there's feelings for a person. This is awakening to a soul union. Like, oh, this is a soulmate. This is someone that I can be with. And then we also have to pull out the other cards and see what's coming out with it. Okay. So we have the nine of cups energy for this other party. If you're a water sign, you're showing up Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Or um, this is someone who has high hopes for a connection with an Aquarius. You may know that this Aquarius has someone else you're hoping for them to choose you. Or even if you don't know, I mean, you probably know you're watching this reading. Um, you may know that they have a choice between you and someone else, but you're getting your wishes fulfilled because they're now awakening to the connection with you. All right. The outcome card is the world card expansion. Okay. Bigger um, new things. Now, with the judgment card, I say the Aquarius is going through some type of ending here. Okay, with the judgment card, the major arcanas to me are sticking out. 
So it is going to be the Aquarius that is awakening and ending something. And I feel like that's what they're doing up here. Okay. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck as well. So there may be Sagittarius energy coming up. All right. So let's see why there's a tower up here for partner number one. Why is the tower up here for uh, Aquarius's partner at the top? The tower. Why is the tower up here for Aquarius's energy? Three. Two. One. We have the Ten of Cups. So someone's ending a commitment or a marriage with the Hierophant. It could be the Aquarius or it's just this party has decided to. If it's not a marriage, then it's someone where there's children involved. It could be a Taurus involved in some way. Um, if you're mar married to a Taurus, you could be leaving behind a Taurus. Um, or you're just married and leaving behind your marriage partner. I do feel it's something with children involved. For So some of you who may have children, that's coming up. Okay, they push those cards out the deck. Yeah, all right. So some of you are leaving behind uh, someone you have children with. It's a soulmate, a karmic partner. It's the Justice cards here. Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So there is a divorce for some of you or an end of a karmic contract. It's going to be, I feel it might be for some of you with the seven of wands, it might be pretty nasty. Earth sign showing up again, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Let's see why the Aquarius is page of swords here. I didn't want to pull out my whole deck for that. I wanted to, <laughs> why is the page of swords here? Three, two, one. The Ace of Cups, I knew it. They have their sights set on something else. Ace of Cups, remember I said they want something new? And they're going for it with the Chariot. Could be a Cancer, but they're going for it. They want what they want. Why is the Four of Cups the outcome card for this top relationship for the Aquarius? One. Oh, wow. Okay, Eight of Cups. I mean, the cards are talking. All right, Eight of Cups, because someone's leaving the relationship. That's why we have this sadness and despondence card that we had. Remember, sadness and despondence. Okay, someone's not happy that the Aquarius is leaving. I feel like it's whoever's experienced this tower because the Aquarius might be doing it abruptly or it's just a shift in the energy. They could be going towards this earth sign who keeps coming out. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Taurus is also down here as the world card for fixed energy. We're gonna go chop this up down here. Then we're gonna pull some energy cards, okay? Bear with me, guys, all right? So let's see what's going on with this judgment card for Aquarius. What are they awakening to in this partnership here, judgment? I'm not going to clarify that two of pentacles. I mean, I might. The two of pentacles is pretty self-explanatory for me, but let, we'll see how the reading goes. Judgment, two, one. Ooh. All right. <laughs> wow. You guys, yeah. All right. <laughs> so someone... <laughs> Someone's leaving behind a water sign, maybe Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this could be someone they have children with, okay? The devil card tells me it could be karmic, okay? It could also be an air sign, but I feel like this is the Aquarius with the Nine of Pentacles leaving. Wow, death card, Scorpio. They could be leaving a Scorpio or and going towards an earth sign. This earth sign keeps coming out. They could be going towards a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. New beginnings, Ace of Wands with a twin flame, soulmate connection, someone that just works with, fits with, Two of Cups. I don't know why I always do these close to these candles. I'm always about to be like knocking these candles over. Whatever. Anyway, so yeah, the book, the, the cards are reading like a book right now. But either way, the main thing that stuck out to me was the Ace of Pentacles. All right. The fact that we are, um, in fact, awakening to a new beginning that involves an ending of something karmic here. All right, so let's see what the world card has for us. Why is the uh, outcome card the world card for this relationship here? The world card. World card three. Ooh. Ace of Swords. Expansion. So finally moving forward. Finally moving forward where we were stagnant too. Someone's, that's just like having the awakening card twice to me. Two of Swords. Maybe someone's finally made a decision um, and, and this connection has been taking a little while with the Knight of Pentacles. It took someone a while to come up with this choice, particularly the Aquarius. It took the Aquarius a long time to come to this conclusion. And they're still juggling a little bit. So, too, the Ace of Pentacles in Judgment tells me that this is starting to happen. 
Doesn't mean that they're going to be doing everything right now this month, April, but they are coming to that the terms with the fact that they want to be with you, whoever this person is down here, Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here, too? One. Sun card, yep. Positive new beginnings. All right, and you've been waiting a while for this Aquarius, like I said, to make this decision. Whoever you are, Leo, whatever you are, Nine of Cups person. I'm seeing what's up with this two of pentacles hermit yeah that's even more um virgo energy twice here knight of, uh, queen of pentacles or taurus or capricorn they're thinking about an earth sign for some of you so earth signs you're showing up in positive light in this aquarian reading fire signs leo particularly is showing up well as, as well going to another aquarius um not really only because i'm not seeing that doubled so i'd say leo and taurus um, Virgo, Capricorn, whatever. Those are the signs that are just showing up in a more like that's my, maybe because it seems like the Aquarian is going towards a more earthly energy. That's just what I'm kind of getting here, especially with the fixed energy. All right. So uh, we will pull some energy cards. The reason why the Aquarian may pull back is because they know they have a decision to make and it's they've got to get things in order. So it, don't freak out about that. Oh, I'm. Hold on, I got a card out. <laughs> Two. Alright. Yeah, Discovery. So this is like the Magician card. I mean, it's really like the Fool card, honestly. I see that as, as the Fool card in this deck. So, new start, new beginning, taking risks, knowing you need to start from zero. Start up and move, start from bottom and, and build up again. Tower workaholic they also could be working because this is their energy two of pentacles they could be doing a lot the aquarius could have a lot going on all right they could be business owners they could be you know trying to get their money together with two of pentacles to come towards you before they come with this offer whoever this partner is down here so aquarius could be working right now um you know trying to get their money up or just you know in their head a lot all right doing artistic aquarian shit that you guys like to do like music and computers and troll people and shit i love you guys i love you i'm telling you i love aquarians all right so acceptance so basically um the acceptance card is telling me that someone is having a hard time accepting this connection it could be the aquarius or they someone doesn't feel good enough yet for this other person if you are the nine of cups person, I feel like you're having um, a hard time accepting that you may be good enough for the Aquarius or the Aquarius doesn't feel like they're ready for you yet. So they have to accept that they are doing the work to to come at you right. But they also have to understand that you want them the way they are, too. You're not like too hung up on. Well, you may not have it all together right now. OK, so I am I am going to go ahead and shut the reading down. Thank you so much for watching, Aquarius. And I hope you have the great rest of your April.